we take our seat, I can't help but notice the beautiful orchids which I've come back to. They're actually regrowths, so you might recognize them from last year. And they're here gracing us again with their beauty and welcoming us back to this work. So, thank you, orchids. All right, from Sukasa. Closing the eyes, begin to enter this sacred space. Relax the face, relax all expressions. With each exhale, let go more and more of that which needs to be released. Whether it's physical, whether it's mental hooks that are causing friction, release them with the exhale. And in this way, the inhale, the men begin to do its work of being that life giving prana. Receiving that. And then lifting the hands and pressing the palms together. The heart lifted open, the chin lowering. Inhale. As we release the hands and we open the eyes, still hearing, feeling, tasting, sensing the sound of that vibration through us. And let's begin. Okay, so when I get to the side, and widening the knees apart, a simple, simple <laughs> yoga mudrasa. Lifting the ribs, getting length, finding the ribs connecting to the ladders of the front thighs, the hips moving back, and then the arms straight, vibrant, fingers spread, palms fully receiving, shoulders broad, and then lowering the head, the back of the neck long. Breathing, absorbing, feeling. And then looking up and coming out. See how that's affected, enhanced, supported inwardness. All right, coming into your mudra sangam kasan three. Definitely needing one blanket from the front body. So if you need a second blanket for underneath your buttocks, then you'll be taking two blankets. And on the hands and knees, lifting the left knee up, crossing it behind the right, widen the feet. And if you know you like to sit back on some height and have that height there, adjust the feet and then take this blanket. Make a roll, little roll. Right in, it wants to push the front organic body back as you come forward. You want to make sure that your ribs are coming over this blanket. Hold the blanket, pull it back. Inhale. And as you exhale forward, pull the hands back. 
and feel the front body moving back even though the trunk is coming forward. See if you can feel that beautiful inner support as the front organs move back, they connect with the lower back, really filling it, really supporting it. And then our hands can stretch forward again, our arms strong, vibrant. But that softness and pacification in the gut as it moves back, the lower back supported, the chin and the knee connecting. Yogamudra Sangha Santri. As you stretch the arms forward, remember to keep pushing into the heels of the hands to push the hips back. awaiting us. So really feeling this internal connection. We want to become more and more adept at inside the body, connecting the core to the back with integrity. Changing sides. Right knee behind the left. Widen the feet. Taking any support needed here. And then the blanket, the roll. So if we're not used to doing this work, we may really be conscious of the restriction of the roll in the abdomen. As we learn to pacify the abdomen, this roll starts to feel really fantastic. Pulling it back, ribs going over. Inhale. Exhale, coming forward, pulling the blanket back. Feeling the front body move towards the back, the organs moving back. The gut moving back as the trunk comes forward. And then the arms. Spread those fingers widely. Be attentive everywhere. Shoulders broad. And the chin to the knee. Yogundasan, Gundasan. Lengthen the breath. Let the mind travel with breath. The front organs moving back with the roll, the hips moving back. our feet a little bit. Let's use our hands to widen the toes apart in the space between each of our toes and try to make sure that our inner big toes are touching and there's a definitive space between the index toe and the big toe and we're pressing down into that juncture point. And then we sit back up and we put pressure into the heels and keep splaying down, particularly feeling the point between the big toe and the index, pressing down the toes radiating out. Bring the hands behind and lock the fingers. Lower the chin. 
and roll the shoulders back and lift the chest. And then change these look at the fingers behind the back. Check that you're really lowering the chin from the back neck. The front throat is soft and the chest is lifting. And releasing. And turning the fingers towards the knees, reaching the inner wrists. The arms. With each exhale, press down the length of those inner arms out through the inner wrist. dorsal feet in the classical madrasa. Arms in front, cross the thumbs and inhale, lift the arms up. Press down through the tops of the shins, the tops of the feet, the tops of all the ten toes, down through the mat, into the earth. And reach up with the arms, reach up with the fingertips, up through the sky. And now lift the chin, open the eyes bright. And then lower the chin and lower the arms. Look at your thumbs crossed, which one is on top, we're going to change. Change the cross of the thumbs. And ready, lifting the arms back up. First find the tops of your feet, the tops of the toes, the shins, press down. Extend your energy a few hundred feet down below you. And we'll reach up with the arms with the fingertips. Extend your energy a few miles up above you. And then lift the chin, open the eyes bright. And then lower the chin and lower the arms and releasing Madrasa. Deep inhalation and deep exhalation re neutralize. And the excitement, bring it back in and back to center. And we're ready for the next section. All right, we're going to work with our core a little bit and we're going to work with a blanket so that we can slide our feet into the ways. It's going to get a little bit more heated here. So if you've got layers on, you might want to take them off, have a blanket, get it back. This is going to be fun. So we're going to fold our blanket in half, I mean our mat in half, and then we want to Again, fold the mat in half. This is going to be for our forearms. We're using planks, pipe planks. And then we have this blanket on the floor so that it slips, okay? And we want it this way, not this way. And you'll see why, so we can accept our feet and our knees as needed. All right, so coming in, placing the forearms down, interlocking the fingers, thumbs pressing against each other, roll in the shoulders, feel the strength of the arms, engage, lats in, lift the belly button up. And now, lift your knees up, have just your feet on the blanket, lift the core up, and bring the knees closer, and then back out. We're going to do this eight times. Back in. Keep lifting. 
in the call back out. Back in. Lift up. Back out. Five more times. Back in. Lift up. Back out. Back in. Lift the organs up. Back out. Three more times. Back in. Back out. Feel it burning there. Back in. Back out. Last one. Back in. Back out. And then knees down. Mm, okay, so work in this area, learning not to drop the organs, to lift them, to engage them, so they move back and eventually up. And this is the regeneration of life force. Let's see if we can try a little harder version. So forearms down, interlock, feet onto the blanket, straighten the legs, push back, and now try to pipe in. And back out. We'll do it four times. Lift the organs. Ready? Piping in. And back out. Two more times. Piping in. And back out. Don't let the buttons drop. Last one. Piping in. Knees to the ground. Yoga. And just looking back up. And release. Alright, having this blanket, the slide blanket on the side, we're going to be coming back to sliding things. But for now, let's extend this mat back out and meet in an Adhamukha Shanata. Knees bent. Lift the belly button, lift the organs. Don't let them drop now. Heels lifted, buttocks lifted, head lowering, and exhale, straighten the legs. Again, bend the knees, stretch your arms, don't let the organs drop, and straighten the legs. Last one, bend the knees, lift the hips, lift the organs, inhale, and exhale, straight the legs. And now set the right leg forward, lunging, back knee down on the dorsal foot. Press the hips down and then come up onto your fingertips and lift the chest up, chin up, eyes bright. Breathe in here. Allowing that front thigh, the hip flexor, 
left waist to open. Coming out, Adhanasana, bent knees. And exhale, straighten. And bend. And straighten. Chin to the throat. And bend. And straighten. And now left leg forward. Lunging. Resting the back knee down, even on the dorsal foot. And then press the buttocks forward. Come up onto the fingertips. Lifting the chest up. Mm. And releasing. Stepping back straight into Adhanagashana No bent legs, but heels lifted. again, really working on knitting this, and not just the main muscles, but all the little muscles around too. So let's fold our mat back up, half and half. So we're doing the one with the knees bent, and then straightening out, coming in knees bent. So our first variation, we'll be doing that one first, eight times. Have that intent, place that purpose, focus. And in. Out. Be with the core. Have the core, pull the legs in. Out. Again. And out. And back in. And out. Four left. You can do it. Really use the core. Out. Out. Two more. Back in. And out. Last one. In. And out. And knees down. With yoga mudras. Keep the shoulders forward. The hips moving back. And the front throat soft. Alright, yes. <laughs> we have one more set, the second variation. So slightly harder, straight legged, pikes, but we only have four of them. 
Just to remind you that the idea is when you slide the feet in, you're using all of this grippingness to pull the legs and feet in. Stability and strength, of course, in the arms. So, let's come back in. Prepare the feet. We'll slide the legs out straight first in a plank and then come in from that. Place that purpose. And pipe. And out. In. Out. In. Out. Last one. Read it from the core. In. And then knees down, and a blessed yoga Okay, let's bring our mat back to normal and let's reconnect with Yoga Mudra Sangha Mukha Santri that we did earlier with the roll of the blanket in the abdomen, re-softening the abdomen after the work that you've just done. Of course, if you need an extra height, second blanket goes without saying. So let's lift the left knee up Behind the right, widen, sit back on the mat, all your support, adjust the feet. And the roll of the blanket. Second time round, we have more sensitivity, more understanding, especially through just use contraction. So now, doubly feeling the release. Pull away with your hands and draw the front. Entire abdominal area, organic cavity, back. Ribs over the roll as the trunk extends forward. When you breathe, notice if you're tightening and if you're resisting against the blanket and encourage that yieldingness. And then when you feel ready, stretching the arms, lowering the chin, yielding the chest. New experience, huh? Right. I'm starting to love that roll. Come up onto the hands and knees, uncross, and changing sides. Right knee behind the left, widen the feet, sitting back, adjust the feet, and let's take this beautiful roll that we're learning to love, bring it right in, make sure the ribs can come over the roll. Feel with your hands. If it's still tight there, pacify. Let it move towards the lower back. 
That's it. Pull the blanket back with your hands to encourage that understanding, that action, and flow with that. Once you get it, it feels so right. Arms forward, Yoga Mudrasa. You may start to feel pulsings, and these are the beautiful signs of tension releasing. So just observe them, breathe, keep having the entire abdominal area recede continually, flowing with that. Always coming out, all the hands and knees. And releasing. Back down. Okay, we're now going to come back to engaging the core with Halasana rolls. So, you may wish to have a blanket underneath the lower back only, not the middle back, not the upper back, just the back hips here. If you know that your core is a little weak, it's just going to help you with that lift. So I'll show you what that looks like. Like this. And if the core feels strong, or you want to push a little bit more in safety, then you would move this blanket and just have the entire lower back on the mat, the core pressing down. So choose the variation that's right for you. Then, holding with your hands at the mat, it's going to help bring some strength, and connection into this core area. Bend the knees, straighten the legs. Press the lower back down. Lengthen the back leg. Lowering. Lifting. And rolling to her some chin towards the throat. Abdomen, which you can see, receding towards the lower back. And then rolling out, legs at 90. Reconnect with the core, the lower back, and lower. And back up. And rolling into her. Chin to the throat. Jalanaranda. Unrolling. Legs to 90. Lower back to the floor. Core strong. Lower, 30, and 90. Rolling over, half. We have one more of these in case you're wondering. Unrolling with control, engaging the core, charging the legs, pushing up through the balls of the feet, and lowering, last one. Flames coming out of the feet, and back to 90, and rolling. Top 
Try to roll the shoulders back a little bit more. Stand and come in towards the chin. The abdomen is right in front of you. Don't let it be tense. Let it recede towards the lower back. Preparing to unroll with control, not sloppiness. Coming out, legs to 90. Press the lower back down. And now bend the knees, interlock the fingers. Deep, complete pacification of the abdomen. A bowl shape being made. The belly button and the navel receding, melting. The shoulders relaxing. Feel the breath changing. The inhale becoming more filling. The exhale becoming more releasing. Rolling it back and out. All right, a brush with an asan. So we will need two blankets. First blanket underneath the buttocks, and let's pull the sit bones back and out to the sides. So the inner groins are rolling down. The kneecaps facing the sky and make the thighs turn. Second blanket, arm roll. Roll, roll, roll. Bring it right into this area that we've been working with today. This area receding, the roll comes in, the ribs come over. If you're intuitively feeling that this might be a little intense for you, you can spread the feet a little bit apart. In fact, let's all spread the feet a little bit apart. It just will allow more broadness in the abdominal area. So therefore, more sensation in the receivingness. Pull the blankets back. The organic body receding back. The lower back has full support as the trunk comes down. And taking hold of the feet, if you can't reach the feet, the hands on the mat. The back of the neck long. And now slow the breath down. We invite it to be slow, to be deep, to be meaningful. The abdomen receding. The moment you feel it dropping forward or tensing forward on the blanket, have it re received.
Seja o exterior. Diffuse the gaze. A caixa de outra nação brings us to deep space. Deep internal beingness. So let's keep that space very simple and uncluttered. Very pure. As we come from here into Shavasana. So this blanket that was rolled is going to go underneath the knees to ensure that our lower backs will stay connected to the earth, which in turn will ensure that our beautifully soft, organic, abdominal pacification will keep flowing into itself. Be sure to tilt the buttocks towards the rolled blanket. And at first, just place your hands a little bit into the abdominal cavity, just gently re soothing it down, re caressing it down. And then extending the arms out to the side. Shoulders free. Front throat soft.
And now lifting the hands up, the eyes still closed. And rest the hands, one on top of the other, right in the center of the chest, over the spiritual heart. And let's chant one om and let the vibration of that om sound just fill that area. Inhale. From that fullness, now pressing the palms together, extending our abundance, our love out to the universe. Luka samasta sukin ho bantu. Om shanti shanti. is complete. The day is complete here in Switzerland too. I hope you enjoyed this exploration of moving from pacification to strengthening. So just bringing more and more awareness to the core and the lower back to their relationship, playing with that. Let me know how it went for you. Namaste. See you soon.